Good morning, guys. I hope you're enjoying your day. There's been a lot of earthquakes in Scotland of late. According to BGS, there in the UK, you only get about 300 earthquakes a year. And about three of those earthquakes are felt by people. But in the last 18 days, there has been 28 earthquakes across the UK. A definite increase in earthquakes. The most recent earthquake was yesterday uh, near Douglas Lanarkshire, a magnitude 1.7. I have documented and marked out uh, most of the significant earthquakes in the past. It looks like the largest probably was a 6.1 in 1931 there in the North Sea. Majority of these earthquakes in the last 18 days have all been up there in Scotland. Not far from an earthquake in 1979, which was a magnitude 4.7. There's the location of that 1.7. Scientists blame most of these earthquakes that happened there in the UK on glacial rebound, which is where the ground is rising back up from the past ice age and the movement of the tectonic plates, which I keep telling everyone that as our Earth's magnetic field weakens, um, we're going to see more earthquakes, more volcanic eruptions. The last time there was a magnetic pole reversal, the continents actually moved. And during that time, when the magnetic field reversed, it just didn't snap and pop, switch from north to south overnight. It lasted possibly as long as 20,000 years. Think of the Earth as a golf ball, and you got all those divots on the golf ball. During that 20,000 years, our magnetic field bounced around to all those different divots until it finally settled where it is today, north and south. And during that time, there was many great earthquakes. Can you imagine the shaking going on for over 20,000 years? Yeah, historically, you only get about 300 earthquakes a year. That is little more than one earthquake a day. And having 28 earthquakes within the last 18 days, I would say there is an uptick. Yeah, I marked out all the recent earthquakes. Yeah, hardly anything down here by the English Channel. But up there in Scotland, it's like, what is going on? Only one of these was reportedly felt. That was on the 16th, a magnitude 2.9. Three people, it says here, reportedly felt that earthquake. And it's down here by the Bristol Channel where that earthquake was felt. The UK there keeps track of the uh, man-made earthquakes, but these here were not man-made earthquakes. The majority of buildings there in the UK are brick and mortar. And can you imagine the damage, the injuries, possibly death, if you have another magnitude 6.1 earthquake or greater? Using the Wayback Machine, here on the British Geological Survey, I tried to look up um, earthquakes there for Scotland. And I got 29 um, different hits where the word was actually used. Here we got 1622, um, 1816. Now these are earthquakes that were reportedly felt there in Scotland. Um, April. 1817. I'll give you a link to this. Um, not all the earthquakes happened there in Scotland, but this is where um, they were reportedly felt in Scotland, many of these earthquakes. 1880, um, 1888, um, 1890, and uh, most of these do not have a magnitude because there were so few reports back then. Um, yeah, so they don't know how large it was. These are just some of the reports going back. The earliest report was January 1199. 
and it says many buildings were ruined. But there is a discrepancy about the year of that earthquake. It could have been in 1202. Like I said, they keep track of the man-made earthquakes by fracking the oil and gas uh, extraction from the earth. Um, they have nothing listed for the last 50 days. Here in the United States, yeah, earthquakes are very common. Um, the West Coast, many people do what they can. Actually, only about 1% are actually prepared for any type of disasters. You can bolt your bookcases against the wall. Make sure your hot water heater is also bolted to the wall. Nowhere to shut off your hot water, um, your water lines, actually. How to shut off your gas lines. They have the great shakeout drills all the time, just about in every state and city, every year, preparing people for earthquakes. So have any of you ever felt an earthquake there in the UK? That's the question. Have you done anything to prepare for a large earthquake? Because historically, they do happen. Not, not that often, but they do happen. Please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.